The N7 Shadow is a melee character that scores by assassinating high-value targets, and also can be used as a high-mobility sniper. She has 500 base health, 500 base shields, and a full set of movements, including flipping dodges, cover-to-cover -cover rolls, and overcover grabs. The light melee is a sequence of three quick sword attacks, and the heavy melee is a slower but much stronger sword attack, capable of decapitating the targets. The power set on this character consists of Tactical Cloak, Electric Slash, and Shadow Strike. Tactical Cloak provides invisibility and a damage boost. Once enabled, it reduces the enemy ability to detect the player. The cloak is broken once its duration expires, or one second after any attack. If the cloak is broken with an attack, a three seconds long damage boost window starts with this attack. The recharge time starts when the cloak breaks, and the duration depends linearly on the time it was enabled. The maximum recharge time depends on the weapon weight, but the minimum time is always three seconds. Powers can be fired from under the cloak, and the recharge time will be the cloak's recharge time. This enables infiltrators to carry weapons of any weight with little penalty. Even if the cloak is broken with a non-power attack, a power can still be cast within the one-second window between the breaking attack and the actual cloak break. The Rank 4 Evolution branches tactical cloaks into two kinds, known as Damage Cloaks and Duration Cloaks. Damage Cloaks provide a higher damage boost, but Duration Cloaks last very long, allowing much more freedom of movement and securing easier objectives. Rank 5 decreases the maximum recharge time of the cloak, or improves the damage of cloaked melee attacks. On rank 6, the first evolution allows to fire one power from under the cloak without breaking it, while the second evolution provides a damage boost to sniper rifles. This bonus is a base bonus, affecting both weapon impact damage and ammo damage multiplicatively. For a melee build, recharge on rank 5 and bonus power on rank 6 are mandatory, and duration on rank 4 is usually encouraged. For a sniper build, sniper damage on rank 6 is the better choice and recharge speed may be used on rank 5 if the player decides to really disregard melee gameplay. Rank 4 depends on preference and weighs damage output against safety. Electric Slash consists of two attacks, a smaller wave that does some damage closely in front of the character and a series of bursts ranging forward. The bursts move horizontally and through walls and can be used to detonate cryo, fire, and electric combos. Activating Electric Slash starts a long animation and causes very major screen shake to teammates closely to the player. This power can hit up to three targets. It's difficult to construct a case in which the player should take more than three ranks in Electric Slash for a general purpose build. Those who want to do so need to be advised that the evolution that is supposed to increase the damage of detonated combos doesn't actually do anything and that increasing the range makes the power moderately more effective at detonating and fighting from a distance. Shadow Strike is the signature power of this character. The shadow will teleport behind the targeted enemy and deal a sword attack, being able to restore her shields as well as gaining temporary movement speed and damage reduction. Shadow Strike counts as a melee attack and its damage is increased by all melee buffs. In particular, the damage bonuses from Tactical Cloak ranks 1 and 4 count twice, once because Shadow Strike is a power, and once because it's a melee attack. Shadow Strike can be countered by enemies launching their own melee attacks. For this reason, when engaging particularly dangerous enemies such as the Phantom or Marauder, it's important to make sure they've lost track of the player. This often requires just waiting about half a second between cloaking and casting Shadow Strike. The first evolution on rank 4 gives a significant damage boost while the second evolution grants a serious dose of damage reduction after performing the strike. On rank 5, the recharge speed can be increased somewhat, or a damage over time effect can be added, which massively increases the damage. Rank 6 either greatly increases the damage, or gives the ability to steal shields and barriers from attacked enemies, as well as some movement speed. Damage over time is the correct choice on rank 5, and shield drain is heavily encouraged on rank 6. On rank 4, damage is usually preferable, but not necessary. The passive power increases the weapon damage by 27.5%, and power damage by 10% if evolved for weapon damage, 
and weapon damage by 20% and power damage by 35% if evolved for power damage. On this character, the passive power will likely work better if evolved for power damage. The Shadow has a unique fitness power, where rank 6 gives a massive multiplicative melee damage bonus against either armor or shields and barriers. It is typically better to use the armor damage bonus. It's also very important for melee builds to use the martial artist evolution and keep the bonus active. Sniper builds, on the other hand, can benefit from the movement speed on Evolution 5B. Normally, there is not much use to Electric Slash besides clearing out swarmers and detonating the team's power combos. The melee gameplay the character is designed for consists of shooting, shadow strike, and regular melee attacks. The Shadow has a lot of freedom in picking her targets, and this strength should be used to eliminate the enemies that are very dangerous, such as the Marauder, Phantom, or Collector Captain, or very expensive in wave budget terms, such as the Abomination, Phantom, or Dragoon. A Shadow Strike optionally followed by a shotgun or melee attack is usually enough to dispatch a middle-sized enemy on gold. Evolving Tactical Cloak for duration and bonus power allows to do Shadow Strike relatively safely and either escape or continue attacking. Alternatively, it's also possible to just use the class as a regular sniper, with Shadow Strike serving mostly for mobility and shield recharge. Electric Slash builds are considered mediocre and are out of fashion. Keeping this power on rank 3 or even skipping it altogether is completely fine. Geth Scanner is the recommended gear bonus. The armor bonus will typically be a power damage amplifier, because of the shotgun Omni Blade giving a multiplicative bonus of 50% melee damage, shotguns are the recommended weapon class on this character. Some players recommend using disruptor rounds for stunning, others use armor piercing ammo so that the smart choke attachment can be placed on the shotgun. While most infiltrators don't need to care about power recharge, keeping the weight somewhat low helps to spam Shadow Strike from behind cloak. Example Weapon Setups Wraith with Omni Blade, High Velocity Barrel and Disruptor Ammo Black Widow with Piercing Mod, High Velocity Barrel and Phasic Ammo Eagle with Melee Stunner, Power Magnifier and Armor Piercing Ammo This class works the best against Cerberus and the worst against Reapers.